Russians won't be getting fries with that, as it's been a big week for McDonald's and other brand moves in response to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand hit miss of the week. This week, we have a hit, and it goes to McDonald's for finally making an announcement in response to Vladimir Putin's Russian invasion of Ukraine. In a memo to McDonald's staff on Tuesday afternoon, CEO Chris Kapsinski announced the global fast food giant is closing all of its stores in Russia, saying, quote, our values mean we cannot ignore the needless human suffering unfolding in Ukraine. While known for its franchise model, McDonald's owns more than 80% of its 847 Russian restaurants, and sales in that country make up about 9% of total revenues. The company has said the move will cost it about $50 million every month. As one of the world's most famous brands, McDonald's has been called out for being late in reaction to the Russian invasion. While major brands like Visa, MasterCard, Nike, Netflix, Alphabet, Apple, Levi's, and many others had earlier suspended sales and or operations, the Golden Arches stood out until now. Three months after the fall of the Berlin Wall, the Golden Arches went up in Moscow for the first time, with anxious and curious crowds waiting to get their first taste of American fast food culture. Then there's McDonald's stature as a major global brand and its influence on others. In the hours following the company's announcement on Tuesday, other holdouts like Starbucks, Coca-Cola, and PepsiCo all scrambled out their own statements on how their operations in Russia would be changing. For decades, we've been sold on the idea that brands, particularly those with global ambitions, just want everyone to get along, to gather on that hilltop, join hands, and hey, maybe share a Coke. Right, Don? But often, this simply translates into a corporation doing just about anything to expand its markets and grow sales around the globe. These two things come together sharply in situations like Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Brands have also been careful to distinguish between Vladimir Putin's government and the Russian people. See, while the company is closing all of its stores, it's committed to continue paying its 62,000 Russian employees and keep its Ronald McDonald House charities running. That commitment plus the fact that McDonald's has some major skin in the game here, makes this brand move stand out, even if it is a bit late. You know what they say, better late than on the wrong side of history. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. To see more weekly videos about the best and worst in brands and marketing, hit the like and subscribe button.